Alrighty, hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back to the home studio here in Battleford, Saskatchewan. Just pretty excited, I've actually finally got my hands on the new-ish Nikon 500mm f5.6 E PF for Phase Fresnel and that lens has definitely been kind of in short supply for people looking to buy one or rent one or all that sort of stuff. I know there's a few reviews out there definitely already but I'd want to share my initial impressions before I take it for a little test drive for a couple weeks. Um, does that Phase Fresnel design really shrink down the body so much? Is it so much lighter? Um, I'm definitely curious what I'm going to think about out in the field too, but I know there are lots of questions from folks about just generally what's the size like, what's the weight like, how does it compare to my, I don't know, 200 to 500, 5.6, how does it compare to my 70 to 200, and um, just want to let you take a look. And that's it. It's pretty darn tiny, I think, and uh, super light as well. So that's it with the lens hood on with the lens hood off like are you kidding me that's got to be the size of the uh, 300 mil f4 pf lens as well too i don't have that but it seems about the right size and not too far off from the uh, trusty 70 to 200 2.8 and i'm just going to show you a little comparison here too So yeah, overall, definitely a tiny light lens. I can't wait to get out into the field with this and give it a shot. It seems like something that would be uh, no sweat at all to leave, you know, on the camera body, walk around, handhold. It's definitely that sort of a convenient kind of lens. Um, I think it's gonna come in handy. And I'm sure lots of you may be curious too, how does that fit or relate to a camera body? Cause that's just the lens here too. And I'm gonna be doing most of my shooting with the Nikon D500 for the added reach from the crop sensor in there that'll turn this into a uh, 750 mil 5.6. Um, and that 10 frames per second shutter speed as well too is gonna come in handy for wildlife and sports perhaps too. Um, but yeah, let's show you what that looks like mounted to the D500. And whoa, we've got that on the D500 here already. Check that out. It's um, definitely a very handy, hand-holdable combination. As you saw from that comparison with the 200 to 500, I mean, it's just, it's so much smaller, it's so much narrower down here the, the, uh, near the lens mount. And I'll get some numbers up on the uh, screen here for you too, but it's definitely, it's gotta be close to like half the weight of that 200 to 500. So just to have that kind of reach, 750 mils at 5.6 for this kind of a weight, it certainly is a convenient little package, and I cannot wait to get out and shoot with it. Check that out. Yeah, it's gonna be good. 